Hi, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. Yesterday, we got to take a look at our math room on Schoology. Today, we're going to do that again, and we're going to use the counters one more time. I'm going to click on my counters, and we talked about how you can take two numbers and you can move them around and you can put them in a different order, but when you add them together, you're still going to get the same answer. So let me show you. We used our fingers in a picture on our problem of the day this morning. So I'm gonna use counters to show us that. So I'm gonna take the number two and I'm gonna take the number three. I have two yellow counters and three red counters. When I count them all up, one, two, three, four, five, I have five. Now I'm gonna change the order of my numbers. I'm gonna put the three red counters first. Then I'm gonna try two yellow counters. All I did was take our three red counters and put them at the beginning, and I took our two yellow counters and I put them at the end. I'm still using the number two. I'm still using the number three. I just moved the order of my numbers around. That's a big first grade word called the commutative property. The commutative property tells us that we can change the order of the numbers that we're adding and we still get the same answer. And when we're adding, we call the answer to an addition problem the sum. Can you say that word? Sum. And so we're gonna practice showing that today. So I made the number or the addition problem two plus three equals five. And then I flip flopped it around that commutative property. And I started with three plus two equals five. So the same thing, we just changed the order. Let's try again. I'm gonna start with the number one and I'm gonna add the number four. I have one yellow counter and four red counters. Now I'm gonna switch it around. Which number's gonna come first, one or four? Can you tell me? Yep, it's the number four. So one, two, three, four comes first, and then one yellow counter. All I did was take our number four and move it to the beginning, and that got to come first, and then I put one at the end. One plus four, four plus one. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Both of those problems equal five. They have a sum of five. One plus four, four plus one. All I did was move those numbers around. Let's try it one more time. Let's try the number five. So I'm gonna do five red counters and one yellow counter. One, two, three, four, five. It's always good to check your work plus one. Five plus one equals six. Let's start with the number one. And now we're gonna show five red counters. One yellow, five red. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a sum of six, just like I did when I started with the number five and one. So today you're going to practice making some different combinations with your counters. And so you can make an addition problem, but I want you to show me on the bottom how you flip the number around. So I wanna be able to see that you started with five and ended with one the first time. And then the second time you started with one and ended with five. So you can use different combinations. You don't have to use the same ones that I used but I don't want your numbers to get any bigger than 10, okay? So you could do any number that adds together to make 10, but I don't want you to go over 10. But I do wanna see that you showed me that you did that commutative property where you flipped the order that we add our numbers. And just like yesterday, you're gonna take a screenshot 
push the black circle home button with the top black power button on your iPad and you're gonna push them at the same time, your screen's gonna blink, and then it'll save your picture to your camera roll. And then when you go to submit it to Schoology, it'll be in there. But just make sure that you're selecting the right one because yesterday we put up a picture with our counters and they might start to all look the same in there. So make sure that you use the one that you did today and put that on Schoology. Have fun.